Hey, what's going on YouTube? Lionel here. And I am um I did a video yesterday. Anyway, I did a video, I think it was yesterday, Friday. It was Friday, today's Sunday. Um I did a video and it was called The Battle of the Roses. So I got a few uh messages, got a few uh my man, your favorite MC came at me, was like, Hey, what's up with this? I think Jesse asked me what was up with uh Noir Noir. So decided to add two to it. So now in the list I have uh let's see. I have Rose 31. So uh, can you see that? No. Anyway. Uh Rose 31, Bay Rose, uh Man uh Mason Francis, Kajerkins, Lemire, Le Le Lemire. I don't know. Somebody help me pronounce that one. Uh, you can do a video on it. Uh, well maybe maybe Pegasus video. I don't know. I don't think he says anything. So that's the uh, the Mason Francis Kajerkin. Here I have a Noir Noir. Uh, I think it's pronounced a, a bit different than that one also. Uh, Whips and Roses. Uh, Rose Oud and West High. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now there's seven in the battle. Okay. So let's first start. Uh, let, let's. I'm gonna. I, I wrote down something, and I don't feel like getting up and getting it. So I think I broke it. Here's how I broke it down. I'm gonna go projection. I'm going to go natural. I'm going to go uh, price value. Uh, I'm going to go, um, you know, just my overall impressions and rate these uh, one to seven uh, based off of, um, you know, based off my perspective. So. Let's go with natural first. Let's go with the most natural smelling rose. Put those too close. Um, okay. Okay. So the top two spots, well let let's go let's go by the least natural. The least natural rose I have on is rose thirty one. The next one is pretty much a tie between West Side and uh Noir Noir. And I'm gonna talk about those two fragrances because they're very similar. Um the next least natural one. It's probably Rose Oud, then Whips and Roses, and man, Bay Rose and Mason Francis Kajurkin are very, very close. That's what I imagine a real rose would smell like. I'm going to go Bay Rose, then Mason being the most natural. So, I'll go that route. Okay. So let's go to uh, projection. Let's go to projection. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go to projection. Um, these are kicking my butt. Um, least projection is Rose 31. Next least is West Side. Hmm. Those are close. Okay. The next few are just pretty close. Uh, let me see. Mason is sorta of next, so I, I, I would put Mason the third least best projection. Um. Noir is kicking. Bay Rose is kicking. Whips and Roses is kicking and Rose Oud is kicking. So I can't, I, I, it's hard to choose between those. I, 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 Bay is pretty good. I think, I think Noir Noir and Rose Oud are the top two with, with Whips and Roses coming in third. Bay and Rose are about the same. But I, I would give each of those four. I would give Noir Noir, Rose Oud. Whips and Roses and Bay Rose, I would get each of those maybe about a um, a five in the projection category with uh, 
Mason and Westside in the fours and Rose 31, you know, three and a half maybe. So, okay. Now, let's go um, uniqueness. Let's go. That was my next one, uniqueness. Um, Rose 31 is the most least unique. Uh, the next uh, most least unique would be, um, I, I think... I think Mason Francis Conjurkin is it's not very unique. It's, it's, I'll talk about that one more. But that one's not really unique. Um, Bay Rose would be the, lead, the, the next least unique. Uh, then Rose Ood. Now, Nor to Nor, Whips and Roses, and West Side. All three of those are kind of unique rose fragrances. They're, 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 they're not your run of the mill uh, rose fragrances. Uh, they all have a, a, a kind of character in it that just kind of makes it different. So it's, so here, here's what I mean. If you're not a rose lover, I, I think Noir Noir, Whips and Roses, and, and West Side may be able to uh, to help you out. But if you're a rose lover, I would, I would probably say uh, Mason, uh, Mason Francis and Bay Rose would, would take that spot and Rose Oud would come in third. Rose Oud is a... You know, it's a pure rose fragrance. Those three are kind of sort of pure rose fragrances, while Rose Thirty One, Noir Noir, Whips and Roses, and West Side are not pure rose fragrances. They they have more going on with them. So, um, that's that. Um, now let me talk about uh, what I think would have the best mass appeal, least the greatest. I think the least Mass appeal would probably be would probably be Bay Rose maybe. I'm just talking about like the average guy would not reach for Bay Rose. That would be the least. I think Mason Francis Kajerkin would probably be the next one. Um, I think um, you know just the average you know the average person, average guy. Uh, Whips and Roses, a guy may not wear that one. Uh, it has some feminine qualities to it. Uh, but I think a guy, oh, then Rose Oud, definitely. Uh, well, you know, Rose Oud, I don't know. I don't know. You tell me about Rose Oud. But I, I think I can see a guy reaching for Noir, Noir, West Side, and Rose, definitely Rose 31. I think, I think, I think Rose 31 would probably be the most reach for or let me talk about this most universally appealing I think Rose 31 would be the most universally appealing that would be the number one and the least universally appealing would probably be Bay Rose I don't think Bay Rose and Mason Francis can jerk and I don't know the average guy may find them too floral too too rosy uh, I, and I you know I think they may have problems in the war in the war and West Side and Whips and Roses because of the femininity Rose Oud sort of falls into the Noir Noir category, but I can see a guy wearing Rose 31 very, very easy. And I see Rose 30. Yeah, so that's it. Now let's talk about wearability. As I mean, you know, if you were to buy one of these fragrances and you were to just say, um, you know, because they're all fairly expensive. So let's, let's go there first. Except Whips and Roses is the least expensive. Yes, Whips and Roses is the least expensive retail. Um, so let's talk about, um, uh, you know, just universal, like, you know, wearability, that kind of stuff. Rose 31, uh, let's go to least. I think the least wearable of these may be, um, Rose Oud or, or Whips and Roses. As I mean, just you like wearing them, you know, at, you know, anywhere, all the time, casual wear. I think Rose Oud and, 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 and. Whips, I think Rose Oud and Whips and Roses would definitely not work for you if you're just trying to buy one bottle and wear it, you know, year round. I think next would be um, Noir Noir and West Side. I think those two are the next least, you know, they, they just, they, they sort of have a certain appeal to them. I, I just, you know, I don't see you know, in the khakis and a t-shirt wearing West Side and Noir Noir. I just, I don't see it. I mean, they, they, they just may be more club, more playful, more flirty. Um, and you know, whips and roses and rose oud are just they just don't have that that type of wearability. They're both very nice, 
uh, and I would wear them, but I'm just talking about the average person. So next uh, would be uh, in, in, in order, least to the greatest wearability would probably be uh, Mason Fran uh, uh, Bay Rose, Mason Francis, and Rose 31. I think you can pull out the Mason Francis Kajurkin a bit more easier, you know. I, again, now it has the most natural role, so a guy may find that a problem, but it's quite masculine. Uh, and Bay Rose is quite masculine in its approach. Uh, but, you know, masculine for me is a, a lot different. I, you know, I think Alien is, has a, a sort of masculinity to it. Um, uh, so, Rose 31 wins that battle. So, uh, projection, I'll, I'll run them all back down in a minute. Uh, what was the last one? Um, now, my let, let me talk about my favorite, least. Man, that's hard. Um, that's hard. Me buying a bottle. Let's talk about me buying a bottle. If I was to buy one of these first, in order, I would probably go West Side 7. Yeah, West Side 7. Um... Bay Row 6, uh, and there's a reason West Side of 7, I'll tell you why. A 6, 5 would be, um, I don't know, 5 would probably be Nor Nor, 4 Rows Ood, 3 Whips, 2 Rows 31, 1 Mason Francis. Uh, and the reason why is this. Um, Mason Francis and Bay Rose are um, sort of eliminate each other, right? They they sort of eliminate each other. They're they're overkill. So Bay Rose and Mason Francis Kajerkin are, are are sort of similar in their approach. So I, I would think, you know, I, I would think you wouldn't need both of these. Number one, um, Rose Thirty One, you need. You know, it, it's just because of its universal. It, 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 it's universally appealing. You, Rose 31, if you want a Rose fragrance, I think Rose 31 is there. Now, Nor Noir and West Side are very, very similar. I, Nor Noir is darker, a little, little more edgy. West Side is a little safer. But if I was to choose between those two, I would go Nor and Noir. Uh, if I want to choose between those two types of fragrances. Now West Side is the most unique. And Rose Oud is just sort of distinctive to me. Um, so. You know. That's a tough one for me. Uh, that's a tough one for me. Uh, but definitely. Uh, Ro Rose Oud stands. Uh, of these fragrances. Rose Oud stands out on its own. Whips and Roses stands out on its own. Rose 31 stands out on its own. Mason eliminates Bay Rose. And Noir Noir eliminates West Side. If that makes sense to you. Now, um, you know, if, if I were to rate these fragrances, I'm just talking about just blanket rating, projection, you know, every, everything and money, all that stuff in account. I'll go, uh, uh, I'll go seven to one to you. Se seven to one. If I'm just ranking, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not talking about buying. I'm just talking about ranking, ranking. Um, seven to one. Seven is Rose 31, six is West Side, five it, for me is Bay Rose, uh, four is uh, Noir Noir, no, 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 four maybe Whips and Roses, three Noir Noir, two Rose U, one is Mason Francis Kajerki. So those are my opinions, those are my perspectives, I've included uh, your favorite MC, Jesse, you guys who asked me about West Side. I've included West Side. I've included Nor Noir. Noir. Um, West, now, each of these fragrances hold their own. Um, but, you know, there's some elimination in these. If I was to take off, you know, if, if, if I can only buy three of these fragrances, let's go that route. If I can only buy three of these fragrances, Rose 31 would be one. Mason Francis Kajurka would be two. And three would be a toss up in between uh, uh, 
New War, New War Rose, who whips is nice. If you're a leather lover, whips is nice. I, I don't know, whips is hard to take out. Um, you know what, man? Really, you know, Rose, who has this oody, almost incense vibe to it. Noor Noor and Rose Ooh can, can can fight. You know, I mean, they they can get in a fight. I mean, that you know what? If 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 like Vegas would hate that bet. Vegas would hate the bet of Noor Noor and Rose Ooh. They they just they'll probably push her. They'll probably just say, you know, they, I, I don't know. You 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 won't get bunch out of that. You're not getting any. You you know you're getting you know you're getting a you know a point. You're getting a half a point on on Noor Noor and Rose Ooh. Uh, wait, buddy. Wait. Excuse me, guys. Um, and Whips and Roses sort of has his own. Wh Whips and Roses sort of stands out among these rose fragrances just because of its approach. Um, rose Thirty One is just I can spray it on and go anywhere. Rose Rose Thirty One I can go to a wedding. I can go to a date. I can go to the club. Rose Thirty One just kind of has that that type of appeal. Uh, so, but that's it. That's my perspective. I've added it. Um, now I'm up to 17 minutes and that's the same shame. So um, I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.